Hello and welcome to the Inferno's. Uh, we're recording today because we actually got a community guideline strike and the reason for that seems to be that uh, we use the same name according to their system because I had it written as Inferno's anniversary sale and then whatever the day of the sale was. And so a bot has detected that we're talking about the same subject too frequently and gave us a strike. So we've put in an appeal, but it doesn't look like it'll be taken care of before the sale's over. So these last few days, we're just going to record and get them out to you as quickly as we can. So apologies for that. Totally my fault. Uh, but today, our grid, uh, alien ships at the expo. Uh, I was looking forward to this. I, I was looking forward to the alien ships. The alien ships are just that's something about them they're, they're nice they've always got a different look and i went to the expo and i was unimpressed yeah there's not a lot of them in game unfortunately and they seem to have no. put two of everything in just yep. to fill out the expo two two eight two cartel owls a couple of noxes two blades and a glaive yeah um but but with the disappointment of that, we obviously got a brand new ship, which is obviously probably the most interesting thing that we've seen since the Arrow. Oh, um, but even be even before you go on to the brand new ship, the other bright spot of the lacklustre display was the um, glaive. Yep. On in the sale, past, yeah. it has been well, it's on sale again, but in the past, it's always been a limited ship. Mm -hmm. Same as the limited. same as the. Um... The pirate caterpillar from yesterday you've still got to do the uh vandal swarm to unlock it which is kind of handy but it is interesting to see them make that a non-limited ship i'm a bit mm. perplexed by that i'm surprised there hasn't been any uproar so obviously people don't give a crap um but um i don't mind either to be honest it is not as powerful as people think it on paper it's not the greatest ship so i think that might be why they've released it a bit but yeah, it's no longer it's no longer limited in terms of holes. Last year it was 900, 950 holes, I think someone said. Um, I think it was probably around a thousand holes they they had to start with available. This year, no limit. But you've still got to do Vandal Swarm and finish all ten waves to get through. Um, but that's probably the bright that's probably the bright spot in that regard. But then we get the new ship so um actually we probably should do cc recommendations for the sale really quickly um oh, okay. thinking of it. so the only one I, I don't think there's really any of the alien ships that i can personally recommend myself i think dyson would probably recommend the not the glaive but the blade the blade he's a fan of the blade um, but I personally think if you're looking for this new ship because we'll talk about it in a little bit it's pretty good on paper um, the every day available ship that you could upgrade from is the prospector that is the cheapest so that would uh 65 us dollars um if you go to 70 us dollars you can get also get a taurus or a reclaimer uh, sorry a retaliator base they are the three ships i'd probably recommend getting obviously the cheapest one's a prospector so at any time you can buy a prospector and go from the prospector to that when you have the money so that's probably what we'll recommend for today um I also think the Banu Merchantman is pretty popular, so Algrid, I know you want to suggest yeah, something. Yeah, and that's right. Look, I'd, I'd recommend at the moment, if you're looking for a Banu Merchantman, get a, um, and you've got a, and you've got a, a Phoenix, get a Phoenix to Banu Merchantman upgrade. The Phoenix is in such a poor, woeful, miserable place at the moment. Now, don't get me wrong, the, that midsection is beautiful, but <laughs> it's been so nerfed to uh, to hell but it's you know yeah it's just not worth it it'll just allow you to cover your backside a bit i wouldn't apply yeah well, that's it. right i would just sit no up that's right and make sure they fix it. it and then yeah i i I'm, i've got one myself yeah. and I, and any other phoenixes i've got i'm gonna i'm gonna get ccus for it sit on them um and then if it comes if it comes good well and good if it doesn't come good can see complaints in the comment section you know your volume just jumped and i don't know how it did it but your volume jumped but anyway uh i, I don't know what I you've know done yeah i don't know, what I know you've done, nothing. but it just went up but anyway i'll fix that later um yeah so you can also don't have to go straight to the banner if, if that's not one that you want to you can go to the phoenix to one just above it but we're particularly suggesting the banner because it um is a really great ship yeah and i think 
I'm going to talk a little, I know I've, we've got notes here, so we're going to, I'm going to change the order a little bit. And let's talk about the Banu and the Merchant Man, uh, sorry, the Defender and the Merchant Man, based on the look that we saw today. Um, I got goosebumps for the first time in a really long time. About this time last year when the Hammerhead came out was the last time I got them. I didn't get them from CitizenCon this year, which I have every other time this year. But when they were showing the art for that Defender and the skeletal look, and I said, oh, and it's just like, and I could see how that's going to carry over to the Banu Merchant Man. So I'm really excited to see where Banu as a race are going to go. Um, it looks like Zion have gone really high tech and Banu mm. have kind of gone more organic. And I, I, I like both of them for different reasons. And, and that makes sense for the Banu because the Banu are scavengers. You know, they'll, they'll scavenge, but they'll say, hey, this is really good and add it in in terms of being a scavenger. That's what I mean when i say scavengers that's what i mean you know they they don't say oh we've got to make our own they say why make it when they're making a really good one? thank you they almost kit bash they 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 the thing i take about them is they take all the best parts mm. and make the best stuff that's why they only have one fighter because it's just the best one um and and sure enough it we did a comparison and even on paper it looks better than i think probably the or at least on par with uh the santoki eye yeah, um, we've had a look and it, it, it's kind of hard. So we'll move on to the San Tokyo, I guess. But the mm. San Tokyo, um, when you look at it, it's really strong on paper. But there's a couple of things like it looks like it's better than the Defender, but there's one little thing that kind of makes them kind of equal. And what on, on the page, it says that the Banu Defender is a light fighter and this is a medium fighter. So every light ship we've seen has been highly maneuverable. So I actually think when you look at the components, what you're saying, the power plants and the shields are the same. Yep. Uh, yeah, power plants, shields, and coolers are exactly the same on the Defender and the Santoki Eye. Really what it comes down to is the missile loadout, which I believe the Santok has got two more. Uh, sorry, uh, it's double, double. Four more. Double. Four, yeah, double the amount of missiles. And then the guns jump up one size. Was that right? Uh, but jump... Four guns jump up one size. Yep. Yeah. So it um, looks actually, like... with with the missiles, I, we, we we slightly misled people because we said it's double. The Santoko I comes with eight size two missiles initially on a three two two um, rack. The Banu has two size three EMP missiles. So the Santoko I you could possibly change the rack to a three one three, which would give it four size three missiles. So. Comp yeah, oh, so obviously, size three missiles. obviously it can't have um, the same size missiles, but on paper they both out. To the, if you calculate out the points, it's double the amount of points. So we'll just well, no, it may be able to take the same size missiles because right. the way the missile racks work, you've got a size three rack, uh, then let's see number of missiles, then the size of the missile, and you could a three one three rack would be the same as a three two two rack. Um, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, so you could actually increase the size of the missiles on the rack, but you reduce the loadout by fifty. Yeah. Um, in Wait. that case, you still end up with four missiles to two to two missiles. Yeah. So, that was in the whole, comparison, that was my whole and that, point. But anyway. and, and that and that's where we that's where we but that was where we got our yeah. More. So so basically, what this is saying, getting back to what I was talking about, the le light and the medium fighter, is they're both highly maneuverable. Um, mm. I I think. My personal take where I end up sitting after looking at all this information is the Defender is a jack of all trades and fairly high in those jack. Like it's got two people, it's got a bed, um, it's actually got internals. No, hardly any of the fighters have internals. The only one I can kind of think of is the Aurora and the Mustang Beta, like, can you, uh, or maybe the Reliant ones if you talk about those, and the Avenger. That There's not yeah. too many that have them, especially the really high tier ones like the Sabre, the. Uh, the uh super hornet the the santoki eye and this is the only other uh, only one of those top four tiers that i can think of the santoki right. santoki and, eye is look, definitely a top tier though and if you're looking at these two ships the, the, the fighters and you, uh, uh, you know these two ships and looking for the one that's got the longest range uh then the defender should leave the santoki eye in the dust because it's got you know two medium fuel tanks rather than a small and a you know two small quantum fuel tanks rather than so the defender just blows the others out of the water in terms of its fuel storage 
The only other possible negative I can really think about the uh, the Santucky Eye is it is going to have a drastically different flight pattern to other mm. ships, and that may require a different muscle memory. Um, so when it comes to flying, you're going to have to be able to adapt between that and other ships dynamically, which you can't always do um, because you get used to a certain ship. But you know, especially. But as we then get we also on, don't. But also in that comparison, we also don't know how the defenders will ship as well. So. Exactly. So we're, we're just taking everything that is on paper at the moment, and that's the best uh, we can give you. We can't give you concrete information because obviously they're not in game. Um, but and, and we're using the Matrix, which we all know the Matrix is 90% wrong. <laughs> that is probably likely to change early next year when we see the Defender. Once we actually that's see right. the Defender, we can extrapolate from the Scout what this is going to be like. So therefore, we can having our first look mm. at a Banu, a Banu ship in game, we can actually extrapolate so we, if someone pops the question and wants to know more about it last year uh, next year let us know um other than that i think that's it for today um i i just realized well, i had all these images to, to show about, that's that we didn't and show wanna, and you wanted to talk more about the sand eye as well um well no i don't really have, have any, haven't you we already have i don't think there's anything else i really want to add personally um although i do think the sand eye and that picture there shows is a grasshopper you know, yeah. it just looks like a landed grasshopper or a TIE fighter. I think they said um, there was a lot of inspirations for the Zion ships, but I think they're very insect-like. And the other one was like a lotus flower for the mm. uh, the Cartoile as well. So yeah. um, I, 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 it all, the one, one last thing I'll leave people pondering for me is if we've got a light fighter from the Zion and a medium fighter, does that mean we're going to get a heavy? So, like, I get to the point where I'm like, wow, what's the heavy going to be? Like... And I think we haven't seen many heavy fighters. The only heavy fighter mm. we've really seen is the F8, and that's from Anvil. There's definitely an Aegis one coming. Like, it, it just makes sense to me, and probably even another manufacturer um, that has a really heavy fight. Can you imagine, like, a, a junk Junker-type one from Drake, like, with just these huge metal plates on it? And um... I, I, I wonder, you know, I wonder if, if the Banu Defender is a light fighter, what's a medium or heavy fighter for a Banu? Mm. Um, well, well, in the same... They... They only have one fighter, they because uh, that's the way their race is. They only like the Banu. They only have the Banu Merchantman because it is the best ship. They just have that. I think you'll find the Banu don't have as many ships as the Zion. I think they they're very well. They may, they may have race. different sizes of ships, but whereas say Earth, we have half a dozen light fighters. That's the right. Banu will have just one light fighter. Exactly. One heavy fighter, one torpedo bomber, one you know. So they'll, but yeah. Anyway, that's off track. No, that's all good. All right, so short and sweet. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll have a, another recording. We'll try to get it done a little bit early. Obviously, we had a, a very unexpected event happen to us, so we apologize for that. Uh, so tomorrow is actually MISC, which will obviously hopefully be a big one. I know it's probably going to be the first time I actually buy something in the sale. Um, and uh, anything you bought? You've bought a CCU, haven't you? I bought two. I bought a couple of CCUs, actually, now I think about it. But... Um, they were yeah, just got... the Polaris ones, so yeah. Yeah, I've only bought the Polaris ones. Which was technically melting one and buying the same thing back, so <laughs> just saving money. Anyway, yeah. all right. On that note, catch you guys tomorrow. Take care.